Joining me now at Fratton Park, we've got Darren and Oakley. Good afternoon, guys. Hey, good afternoon. Looking forward to a warm afternoon with a, with a pretty warm game, eh? Hey, it's nice to have some decent weather and have a, have a dockyard derby as well. So, a <laughs> bit, of, bit of feisty performance <laughs> bit, today. Bit of fun, bit of banter in the ground. Absolutely. A um, lot of players are going to be out of contract in the summer. Ryan Taylor, Wes Fogden, Dan Butler, Adam Webster, Joe Devera, Ben Chorley, Nicky Shaw and a few more. Um, those I've reeled off and I can go through them again. Is there any of those that you'd like to see re-signed next year? That um, be out of contract? Only, only a couple, I think. It's uh, We've really sort of struggled all season. Um, it's too late now, no matter what Andy Alford says, I think it's too late now for the players to fight for contracts. We've gone through, apart from February, where everything went our way, everything else, we've always struggled. Some of the performances have not been so good. Yeah. And I think the last couple of games, you're in a sort of position where you've got some players sort of know they're going to get a contract, other players know they're not going to get a contract, and we haven't got people out there playing on the park with the passion and commitment that we uh, should have in the last few games. The Tubbs and Taylor um, combination obviously come come to light with a few goals. Would you like to see Ryan Taylor sign next year, played alongside Tubbs? He's one of the ones that we, we need to keep with Tubbs. And we we got to give these guys, um, we got to feed them the ball, give them the opportunities to score. They've shown so far, when a limited squad, what they can do. And if we can just get new players in, get everyone to gel and play properly, then we got the makings of a decent squad there. Nicky Shorey, he's out of contract. Would you like to see him resigned? Uh, Nicky Shorey will be worth keeping for bringing the youngsters on if the club can afford are in a position to be able to afford to do that. Obviously, the old, the old head. money's tight, absolutely. But if we have a hold head to bring the youngsters on, give them experience, that's no bad thing to have. Danny East is another one up for uh, looking for a contract, possibly a contract renewal. Danny's been in and out of side through injuries. Uh, do you think he could get a contract this year? It's... I think he could. The problem is you've got players that um, that have injuries. With the state of the club as it is at the moment, it's, I, th I think it's a balancing act between having these players and paying them when they're injured or if they're injury prone and trying to get others. But it's a, t it's a tough call to make. But I think Danny East is a player that, if he can stay fit, would be a contribution to the squad and the team. Um, obviously, all lies in the summer will be on Jed Wallace. Uh, do you think we're going to lose Jed in the summer? I'd like to think in my heart that we'd keep him for another year because he's got two years on his contract. So I'd like to think we could keep him for another year. Mm -hmm. But if he went and we got money for him, we can reinvest that to make the squad better than what it is. Because at the moment, the squad is very weak compared to the first team. Once you get the, your first 12 players out, after that, we sort of struggle a little bit. So, it, again, it's a tough one to call. If we don't get promotion next year, he's going to go anyway. Mm. Is it worth cashing him in now, having that money to invest in the squad? One player doesn't make a team, no. and he's come through the youth team, and that's what we want. We want to get players coming through the youth team and get some money in to bolster the first team squad. I'd like to see him stay for another year, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did go at the end. Nigel Atangana, I must admit, I'm a big fan of Nigel's. He's been in and out of the side, on and off the bench. Um, would you like to see more of Nigel Atangana? Are you a fan of his? It's, I think he's struggled a little bit at times, but then he's come from non-league, and you can't expect everyone to come up from non-league and play, play at this level and play well all the time. So I think we've, the games he's played, he's, he's done well in, and a couple of games he's not done so well, and he's been dropped and rested. And I don't think that's a bad, bad thing. Hopefully next year he can push on and be the player that we think that he can be. We're going to put you on the spot now, Darren and Oakley. Um, prediction for today, give us a score. I'm going to go 2-1 Pompey. 2-1 Pompey, Oakley? Same. 2-1 Pompey, there you go. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your afternoon at Fratton Park. No problem at all. Thanks, guys. Cheers.